Life Ring Foundation, Triumph NIL is really embedded in the fight against kids' cancer. The athletes are really outspoken about fighting cancer, particularly among kids. Uh, now, you weren't a pediatric necessarily when you went through it, right? Yes. No, so, yeah. So, I, had, I was diagnosed with cancer. And actually, the cancer that I was diagnosed with is a pediatric cancer. Ewing sarcoma is a very rare type of bone cancer that affects young men usually between the ages of 9 and 19. So a lot of my treatment was through pediatric care facilities. Uh, and really, you know, if I had been diagnosed 10 years earlier, they, you know, with the research and technology, they said I wouldn't have had a chance. And so it's really, it's, it's organizations like this that are helping raise money uh, to help further the research and build, build facilities um, is the reason why I'm here, right? It's been, it, absolutely. All right, so I have three questions for you. One, when my daughter Charlotte was diagnosed, one of the first things the oncologist told us is if you're going to beat cancer, you're not going to do it without paying a pretty heavy price. There's just no way through. What would you say was the real price you had to pay to get through it? Yeah, you know, for me, I was told initially that you know I'd never play football again. I'd never, I'd never walk again without a, a limp or a cane or something. And uh, you know, I the price that I paid wasn't that big. I was able to come back and play football again. However, it was uh, you know there's an emotional price that went along with it. It was uh, you know kind of accepting that I was not going to be the same football player anymore afterwards uh, as I was before. And that you know mentally that took a long time for me to realize. And then it was adapting. You know, how well could my body adapt to this new leg it had to deal with? You know, my entire left leg was, you know, riddled with that cancer, and so I had to redevelop how I played football uh, and reinvent my game. And you know, I, again, you look forward in life. Uh, you know, very fortunate to be able to have kids, but that's another thing that's it's a possibility that you're not able to to have children. And and I was able to do that. And you know, it's. There is definitely a price out there, and it's, it's costly. Yeah, and your story, because of so much of what you just said, is a very inspiring story that we share with a lot of our kids. Hey, it can be done. Look, look at all the great things that can happen. Um, they all, we also always try to tell the kids, the oncologists try to tell the kids, everything happens for a reason. You know, there's a blessing in this somewhere. Um, if your life is better in any way because of what you've been through, what would be the blessing for you out of it? Well, the number one thing is I found Jesus Christ through my battle with cancer. Uh, and, Amen. and, you know, you, you talk about, you know, God does things in our lives that are meant for good, meant for happiness and meant for us to prosper. He doesn't put cancer in our lives to destroy us, right? It, the fight through that cancer, uh, builds that resilience. It builds things that God loves in us. We're able to foster new sorts of joy and happiness amidst all the pain. Uh, and the big, you know, I think the, the other thing too is, look, having goals. And, and in football, we always talk about goals and setting goals. And yes, you want to win the championship. But I learned through my treatment process that just focusing on the big goal, it didn't do it out of time for me. It was little goals in between. Because when we can win those little goals, those wins compound. Uh, and we're able to do some really big things. All right, last question for you. We got some, we got some little warriors fighting for their lives right now and going through it. You know what that's like when you're in that hole trying to dig out. What would you tell our little guys right now to help them get through it? What's your advice? Absolutely, it, it's you can do it, right? You you can absolutely get through this. Continue to believe in your dreams. Dream even bigger. Because after you get through this cancer diagnosis, after you get through this treatment process, and you don't have to go to the hospital every day, you are going to be so tough, you are going to be so strong, and you're going to be able to do anything you set your mind to. So build those dreams now because you're going to be able to accomplish them when you get out.